What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. I got something really exciting for you today. Um, I found online a deal on my very first full frame camera. I know if you watch any of my camera videos or hear me talking about it in my vlogs, I've been wanting a full frame camera to make videos with because it lets a lot more light in and my house is really dark and dim and I think that'll help in that scenario and also get more depth of field and more it'll make me look more singled out in the in the frame so on the way to pick me up an a7s2 a little bit older i know i know the a7 III just came out but they're they're all uh, out of stock and i'm getting this at a pretty decent price and it looks like it's been really taken care of so i'll get back to you about that and hopefully it's in good condition and i buy it got max riding with me he he can't figure out where he wants to sit or stand or sit in my lap or what but Gonna go pick this thing up and uh, do some do some comparisons tonight with my GH5 right here filming this. Let's see how it goes. This is gonna be some tight parking right here. I don't really know if I can get this truck in. <laughs> it's like real tight. I have to go out here into no man's land, I think. All right, here we go, I made it. I need to go in and see if I can make a deal. Hopefully it's in really good condition. Hopefully it looks new. That's how I like to buy my stuff because I take care of it and it'll look like that when I get rid of it. So Max is gonna take care of the truck while I'm in there and hopefully it won't take long. I'll let y'all know what I get if I get anything. Turned out to be pretty nice. He kept it in a bag its whole life. It's clean, ain't got no scratches, nothing on the screen. So I had to get it. And I need a second job now that I'm buying all this crap. I need to put all the money back in my pocket. <laughs> Max uh, checked on the truck for me while I was gone. He He's being a little being a little weird right now, ain't you, buddy, bro? You hot? You need some water, don't you? I'll get you some water, buddy. Thirsty. So I'm gonna wait till I get home to open it up and uh, you know check it out for the first time because because I don't know the settings on the camera very, like, very well at all yet. I know it's different from my other Sony that I have, so not really know what to expect, and I don't want to be messing with it riding down the road, so gonna wait till I get home to mess with that. <sighs> Let's get to the house. Hey Siri, take me home. Getting directions to home. too much though. I think it might be getting almost too cold to roll down all the windows too. Plus Max's ears would have a conniption fit. <laughs> Ain't that right? Look at him. <laughs> Good boy. You a super dog. You a super dog, buddy. Good boy. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I'm having a hard time believing I got a full frame camera now. Like it's such a big, a big upgrade for me. I'm hoping it does so much better in low light, which I know it's gonna do great in low light because it's like the best camera for that, but hopefully it's gonna make my house, you know, when I'm filming in a house, it's so, it's so dark all the time, hopefully it's gonna make that a lot better. That's what, I'm, that's what I want to happen. Alexa, turn on the office lights. Okay. Hey Siri, turn on Aurora. Okay. Cool. So here's the first problem with the GH5 right here is there's a lot of light in this room and it still won't pick it up. Everybody knows this problem, but let me turn the light on.
So here is my new A7S II. Uh, ever since I've, one of my favorite YouTubers have always used this camera. And obviously, if you know anything about cameras or Sony cameras, this is the best one you can buy for low light capabilities. Which means you can shoot in darker, darker rooms, darker situations and still get excellent footage out of it. This GH5 is leaps and bounds way, way less than how capable this camera is. Um, GH5 is awesome. I love it. I mean, it's a really good camera, especially after the autofocus hack that, you know, made it a little bit better. It's still not nowhere near perfect. Uh, this thing will be better than the GH5, even though it's probably three years older than the GH5 is. But um, other than autofocus, the GH5 is a great camera. You just don't get much light performance out of it. So, yeah, the guy had this done real estate uh, photography and videography with it. So he's always, I mean, it's never really been out in the field much. It's, you know, he, he took really good care of it. No scratches on it anywhere, really. There's a little scuff um, right there on the little, on that little brim area right there, but excellent condition. I wouldn't have bought it if it was in bad condition. That's just how I am. So really, really, really stoked to have this in my hands and to, to own a full frame camera in general, because this is the first one I've ever owned. First thing I need to do before I use this thing is get rid of these jinglers. I just realized this thing's got a screen protector on it too, a nice one. I was thinking it didn't even have one, but it does. That's, that's freaking cool, because I was going to have to put one on it regardless. <laughs> so that, that right there tells me he took care of this camera. If it's got a screen protector on it, that means he actually cared. So that's good news right there, that's awesome. So yeah, I don't own any full frame lenses for this camera yet. I've got uh, a full frame Canon lens I can adapt on here, which is a 16 to 35 2.8, which is gonna be freaking amazing with the full frame camera. Um, it's gonna be about that long. It's gonna come out about that far. But I should be able to get some awesome, like, I mean, that thing lets so much light in and it's wide angle like that. So um, the same lens, 16 to 35 2.8 for Sony is like $2,400. So I should be able to get somewhat similar uh, results from the Canon version of it just adapted on here. So that's gonna be cool to figure out. Um, the lenses that, I, that are native that will fit this is my 10 to 18 millimeter, which is the crop sensor um, wide angle lens will fit on here, and my Sigma 16 millimeter. That's an awesome lens too for the crop, but it'll, it'll work on the Sony A7S also, but it'll just be used in crop frame mode, which is like using a crop sensor camera. So it'll work, just you won't get to utilize the entire frame. Speaking of frame, look how big this is. That's a, I mean, that rectangle in there is the biggest one I own nice so i am going to put my 10 to 18 10 to 18 millimeter on here so there we go fits in just fine really small actually i mean compared to the a6500 the body's a little bit more bulkier but it's not really that much bigger it's a lot heavier put it on 10 millimeters turn it on and you should be able to see me pretty good and uh, that's wide angle i mean I, my face is less than a foot from the camera and look how much is in the frame. So it's basically treating it just like the A6500. I mean, that's basically the same picture my, my 65 would get. So that's cool to know that it works that easily and I don't have to do any settings. It just changed and knew that it was in crop mode automatically. So now I'm gonna swap these cameras out, put the A7S on the tripod and continue the video from there. So here we go. All right, got the A7S II on here now. Hopefully it's looking a lot different. Hopefully it looks good. Um, I don't really know which picture profiles to be using yet on this camera. I'm gonna have to kind of figure it out. I'm gonna have to go back and look at what I'm doing on my A6500 because I think it looks pretty decent. Um, you know, there's all kinds of options with these cameras with the Sony's. They got like S-Log and I don't, I don't use that or I haven't in the past because I don't want to spend all that extra time color grading because for one, I'm, I'm not really experienced at all. I, all I've seen is just some YouTube videos. So. Um, it's hard for me to understand what I'm really doing. Um, I can just kind of do what I think looks right, so not messing with that. But hopefully it looks pretty good. Here's a GH5, by the way. I don't know if y'all ever look at this, but got a 7 to 14 on there for the wide angle, which is basically the same width as this lens can do that you're watch looking at me right now in. Super stoked to be using this camera. Um, this is like m one of my most wanted cameras that I've ever seen in my life, so awesome to have it in my hands for the first time and to own a full frame camera. I know I've said it like 300 times in this video, but just really excited. <laughs> but I just want to do like a little comparison sitting in here in the office like this with this view, comparing this camera 
to the A7S II. Um, the GH5 looks fine as long as you got plenty of light, but with this A7S, I should be able to do whatever I want really and not have to worry about it at all. Uh, and the autofocus is better. It's, it's still not nowhere near as good as like my um, my A6500 or the Canon that I own, but it's way better than the GH5. If you can use this thing manually, it is the ultimate camera basically. Um, if you can deal with the small sensor, but. Um, really good camera, really easy to operate, got buttons for everything, but um, the A7S low light is killer. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching guys, hope you're, uh, hope you're excited to see what this camera can, you know, can make. This full frame should give me a little advantage on making things look kind of professional. It is like a pro grade body, as people would call it, but um, you gotta have a pro operator to utilize that, <laughs> and I'm trying to get there, but um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, like comment do whatever you want to do um we're kind of growing a little bit got got some extra subscribers here in the past couple weeks and some people coming in to watch my vlogging style stuff that's what i want that's what i love i love making videos of just random things and and trying to make stuff work and uh and i want to do some more tech reviews and stuff but I'm, i don't feel like i'm not great at them i prefer to make vlogs and that's what i want to do going on in the future is to get myself in a position where i can do more of them but thanks to everybody who subscribed and is watching, and I, I love having you here, and hopefully you'll, you'll stick around. Hope everybody has a good day tomorrow, and I'll see you on the next one. See you.